and we have here one of the uh, stalwarts and the originators of the motorcycle team. Yes, indeed. Roger Bird. Roger Bird. Um, and what's it like being here again today then? It's quite an experience after I didn't ride last year, so it's good to be riding for the first time. I've not ridden this in public since 2017 when I had my off. Um, this had um, didn't te treat you very well in France, did it? Was it the petrol, the food or the rider? No, 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 it was the machine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I went over the handlebars and ended up with serious head injury in, in Paris Hospital, yeah. so yes. But you see, like all good motorcyclists, you bounce back and, and you, you can't get it out of your blood, can you? Well, anyway, anyway, I better be off. Enjoy, okay. but be careful. I w I be careful. <laughs> We get a lot of interest in machines, and this this is uh, you are. My name's Andrew Walker from and, Derby. And what what is it? It's a 1912 made Triumph. It's a unique experimental bike with an overhead inlet valve, the only made one. And it was lent to race at Brooklands by a bloke called Jack Haswell, and it won the biggest race at Brooklands in 1913, 16th of July. It won the race, a six-hour race. It broke four world speed records and it's the only bike like it. And you've renovated it and you've got it running? Well, I've been involved with it since I was about 10, because it used to belong to a friend of mine, and um, I've looked after it all this time, and so eventually I've inherited it. Well, thank you very much for bringing it. Mm. Um, this is the home of this sort of thing, yeah. and we attempt to try and recreate um, the atmosphere and, and the, you know, the, the heritage to actually um, uh, to do, you know, to, to, to demonstrate this type of thing. Well, for the record, it did. It averaged 58 mile an hour for six hours. One, one, but one rider. You can't believe what some of these guys actually did. Um, the meeting, uh, uh, Francis Barnett in there. He did 55 hours to do it at 50 miles an hour. Oh, gold. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Rather him than me. Yeah, yeah. But thanks for bringing it anyway. Try and get it through that gap. Yeah. We're going next, I think, aren't we? That was awesome, but it was a challenge. That's tall geared. Yeah, yeah. That really is. Yeah. It's a lot of uh, valve lift in there. Let's get around <laughs> the corners. You enjoyed it though? Oh, brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Well, it's history, isn't it? Yeah, 111 years. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. How old are you? Did you see Oh, yeah, years? that's right. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for coming. Cheers.
Hello there. You look um, eminently dressed to be at Brooklands. Oh, thank you very much. One does try, you know. One yes, try, yes, yeah. but I, I must reprimand you that you just don't have a machine that is really in keeping with the age of the place. Oh, I disagree. I disagree. I, 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 uh, Graham, uh, the chief designer at Maving, um, he designed this, basing it on the board trackers of the 1920s. I think you can see the shape of the tank and yeah, that's yeah. where the influence comes from. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I agree, it is a brand new bike and it is electric and, and most things here aren't. But at the same time, I do believe it is in keeping uh, with, with the age and the sort of vibe of the day, shall we say. Well, this is a place of innovation and um, I actually was very fortunate that I... Um, I rode the first bike to win the electric TT here. Did you really? Yes. Well, I never. Congratulations, sir. Uh, I didn't. I only rode it as a demonstration, you know, oh, that they let right. me ride oh, it. I but see. Um, yeah. and you can imagine around here. And that was quite an awesome experience. I'm sure. I'm um, sure. I'm, I've ridden quite a number of, um, of electric bikes, you know. Ooh. And I'm familiar with the science and the uh, physics of uh, infinite yes. torque at zero. <laughs> <laughs> if you understand yes, indeed. that. Indeed, yeah. indeed I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. get all the torque from absolutely zero revs. That's right, yeah. No, well, I am an electric, electrical engineer, so I... Ah, know right, there you go. It. Yes, but, we, um, we've actually tuned this one uh, to not throw you off the back. It's oh. designed as a, um, a learner-friendly bike. So actually, you can you can throw all the throttle in you want and it'll pull off quite gently. But right. then picks up quite well in the mid-range. And what sort of um, it, uh, mileage do you get out of it? So with the two batteries, you can either have the one battery version or a two battery version and with the two batteries you'll get up to 80 miles around town so and the top speed it is a town bike it'll only do 45 miles an hour right so it's not designed to go massively quickly see i, I have a theory that um electric bikes are could be a future but not not necessarily in this form oh uh, what is your theory sir well the thing is if you make um a scooter style like the um uh, the Yamaha, I can't remember what model it is. Oh, yes. Um, and, and provide weather protection, mm -hmm. then you'll get a lot more women riding it because they can go to work with a skirt on, etc. <laughs> and sit, no, and sit on, on, a, on so. a bike. Well, and if you look in Europe, that happens a lot in, the, in, in, in Holland, Italy and, and yeah. places like that. Um, uh, saying that, we do already have quite a number of lady riders on these.